So let, let us go on to continue with um, ecological models. Um, now, we're we going to set up a system of ordinary differential equations that, that model a closed system consisting of ends, efforts, and lady. Well, closed system meaning that uh, no other variable is going to be explicitly modeled here, right? Um, so in case you don't know, um, it is quite interesting. So ladybirds, they eat the, these aphids, that they are very small insects, aphids. And um, ants, they tend to aphids like, you know, like uh, humans tend to cows and they milk aphids. So aphids, they, they, they have some kind of a sweet, uh, sweet liquid. So um, ants protect aphids from ladybirds and they, they collect the, this uh, sweet liquid and they, they eat it, all right? So in other words, um, ants and aphids, they cooperate for mutual benefits and ladybirds, they um, prey on, on aphids. Well, um, so here we're going to measure time. Well, let, let's say in days, it, it doesn't really matter. So I'm not going to, um, to fit into any real data or, or anything like that. So I just want to demonstrate the logic, the basic logic of the model, All right? Um, so which means I'm going to just invent uh, some specific constants out of thin air, but the, the main logic is, is still is, is going to be uh, what, what they use in ecology, All right? Uh, so we're, we're, I'm going to assume that ladybirds only eat aphids. In other words, they do not have any external source of food. So in, in this, this system, there is no other food for them but but aphids. Um, but ants and aphids, they, they, they have a source of food that is not included in the model. So, um, and we, we are going to write um, a system of ordinary differential equations that, that models th this scenario, right? So first, since ants have an external source of food, it means that the equation, um, so that the growth rate of ants is going to be, to have a, positive term with, with x, right? So for small values of x, if the food is abundant, uh, it, it means that we would have something like dx dt equals uh, some number ax. So th th this is if x is small, I will write much smaller than, than one, for example. So if x is small, that there is plenty of food and ants are going to experience exponential growth. Same for aphids, right? So same for aphids. So the uh, equation for aphid dy dt is going to be something like by of if y is is, is much smaller than, than is a small number. Well, um, then, but then for ladybirds is going to be a bit different. So since they um, would die out without aphids, the, the equation for, for them is going to have a negative z, z term, right? Because if it were positive, it means it, mean, it would mean that uh, in the absence of the other two variables, ladybirds would experience exponential growth. So it, it's not going to happen, right? So rather than that, without um, the, the presence of two other variables, ladybirds would die out. So which means it, we're going to have a negative term, right? Uh, then, uh, usually, if you remember the logistic model, um, the, the logic of the logistic model is that if we have an exponential growth um, for small values of the dependent variable, then it cannot continue forever. So, and in order to stop that exponential growth and to stable it, um, to stabilize it, we introduce the, this um, negative term with x square. So which, which means that if we uh, just want to model the ants, we, we would have to write something like dx dt equals a x minus b x square. So that's the logistic differential equation for ants. Because without the, the this x square term, um, ants would have to, uh, the ants population will, will have to grow indefinitely which we don't want. So, um, but for, for that, if we, um, we have dz dt, 
the we have a negative z squared term, so it looks like minus cz. So imagine that I would include something like minus d z z square. So it would kind of um, limit. I mean, even without it, um, ladybirds on on their own they they are not going to, to grow. So it, it doesn't make sense to um, limit the, their growth any, any any further. So we're not going to have this term. Okay. So here, here is a, a possible uh, reasonable system. Mm? So what does it mean? So recall that x are ends, uh, y are aphids, and z are ladybirds. Now, uh, what is the logic here? So notice that. Uh, if you just look at x, suppose that uh, in the absence of the two other variables, if you just look at x, then if y is zero and if z is zero, then the equation for th that is just on x, it, it is a logistic differential equation. Same for y, right? So the, 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 the part that only contains y is a logistic differential equation. Uh, but for z, lady birds, as we said, um, they are... Um, kind of intrinsic growth rate is negative, right? So meaning that on their own, they, they are just dying out. So uh, we do not have a quadratic term. We don't need that. Well, but then um, the, the parts with x, y, y, z, and x, z, they try to model interaction between the, the species, right? So the um, ants and aphids, they um, cooperate for mutual benefit. And so meaning that uh, if we have more aphids, then um, ants are going to, to grow faster. And if we have more ants, then the aphid population is going to grow faster also, right? So which is why these uh, terms are positive. And the relationship between ants and ladybirds is just non-existent. So they do not really interact directly. So which means there is no x, y, sorry, x, z term here at all. Because x, z term would uh, show the interaction between ants and ladybirds, and they do not interact. So it is just absent from the, the system. All right, and then finally notice um, the relationship between uh, aphids and ladybirds. So notice that the presence of ladybirds um, is, uh, is bad for aphids, mean which is shown by the negative term with yz in the equation for y prime. By the presence of uh, and sorry, the presence of aphids is good for ladybirds, so which is shown by the positive yz term in the equation for z prime. All right, um, then the intrinsic carrying capacity of, of the ant population is 200. So intrinsic meaning that without aphids and ladybirds. So if say y is zero and z is zero, so suppose that if y is zero and suppose that z is zero, then if you just look at the equation for, for, for x, then it is a logistic differential equation and it's not hard to, uh, to calculate that its carrying capacity is 200. So the intrinsic carrying capacity of aphids is 150. Well, um, then you, you can try to um, to think about this a bit further, right? So here, notice that um, if you look at the equation for the um, aphid population, right? So then the purpose of introducing the negative y squared term uh, is to limit uh, the, the growth rate, limit the, the growth of aphids. But notice that we already, I mean, if... Uh, ladybirds eat aphids, then probably uh, predation of ladybirds on aphids is already sufficient to limit the growth rate. So we probably don't need it this term. So which means that maybe this also would be a reasonable system. I don't, don't know. So maybe we don't need this. Well, or... So... Another possible scenario is that if ants do not have um, an external source of food, so which means that 
uh, without the presence of the without the presence of two other species, ants would die out, right? So which means that the coefficient at x is going to be negative. So it is somewhat similar to ladybird. So not, now notice that um, the, the the equation for ants is is very similar to the equation for ladybirds. Uh, so both of them they um, benefit from the presence of aphids. Right? So on their own they would die out, but with the presence of aphids, they do not die out. It's just that for aphids, the presence of ants is good, but the presence of ladybirds is is bad. Okay, so now please uh, stop and uh, try to do the next quiz. <laughs>